All right, welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. I uh, in this video we're going to look at Coinbase Pro and uh, want to just talk about setting orders and limit orders, market orders, and stop orders. And we're going to do it relatively quickly. And I'm going to go through all the information. If you need to, if you didn't catch some of it, then uh, you can just rewatch the video. Okay. Well, in Coinbase Pro, you got. To, let me just kind of show you. You got your order book here, and I usually keep an aggregate of of about 0.05. Uh, it kind of consolidates the orders. It's it, it's actually better uh, for LTC as well. Uh, uh, for uh, BTC, it's sometimes even better to go up to about aggregation of one. It kind of shows the orders a little, the, the accumulation of orders a little bit better. Um, so uh, yeah, I do that. Here you have the history. This is actually the trades that are coming through. If you don't know about that, this shows you what orders that right down here. It shows you what orders that you have open. And here obviously is the chart that you can change, uh, you know, to the one hour, to the uh, you know, to the 15 minute. And you can show candles or lines. You can overlay uh, moving averages as well. <laughs> which are helpful as well so yeah that, that's just the basics layout and this is your trading uh, trading panel over here now <coughs> excuse me if you're looking to make a buy order the cheapest way to make a buy order is to have your chart open and know know what price uh, you're looking at I'm actually uh, looking to sell LTC I actually have a limit order already set but uh, let's just go to the BTC chart it's better to know where your target is say say you're already in a position right now and you want to sell your BTC uh, and you're looking at the target of ten thousand seven hundred dollars and so you want to set your target so what you do you set a limit order you just click limit you click sell and then limit <laughs> What that's doing is you're basically saying I want to sell at ten thousand under the limit price. You put ten thousand seven hundred. That's the price you want to sell it at. And then I usually click max because I'm trading my whole stack usually. So, um, let me check here. Market's kind of moving. I just wanted to make sure I do have a limit order in. Uh, actually, here I've got a limit order here at nine three ninety three zero five. I want to see if it's going to click through. All right. So yeah, basically, uh, you know, you can set it for ten thousand seven hundred. You can set the uh, the max limit. That's your uh, if you click max right here. That that'll that'll whatever however many BTC you have up here, it will uh, it will put the max amount available in there for you. Um, and so you you or you could just li indicate how many of your uh, BTC that you want to sell. Any any number. It could be one whole one, a part of one. Any, any decimal place okay so I usually click max and then you click place to sell order it'll show right in here and and, and I'm not going to do it for you because I don't have any anything in this account right now and I don't want to put my information out there so but that's basically what you do it when you know the price you want to sell uh, when you when you're very w aware of the price that you want to sell sell at then uh, that's what you do. You set a limit order. Now, uh, say uh, you're looking at the market and you're like, oh, I want to buy or sell right now. That's what a market order is. So a market order is you just tell it how many you want to buy or sell, uh, whether it's buy here or sell here. Uh, you tell it how many you want to sell and you click it and it's an immediate purchase. Now, the fees for that are twice the amount of limit orders. So whenever you can use a limit order, it's always better because the fees uh, for limit orders are cheaper than market orders. Now, what is a stop? A stop order is a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's uh, basically a stop is you're telling, uh, let's just say that uh, I'm in a BTC position right now, uh, but BTC turns around, it starts going down, and I haven't gotten rid of it. Uh, what I want to do is I don't want to lose my money, and so if I think BTC is going to continue going down to the downside, uh, I want to get rid of my BTC before I lose money, so I want to set a stop order. A stop order stops my losses, and so uh, in this case, I would put the stop right underneath that that low right there. Uh, so that low is sitting at uh, right around ten thousand dollars. So I'm going to put a, a stop at ten thousand dollars. So what I would do is I would say sell. I'd, I'd choose the stop order. The stop price. Uh, well, actually, let's just I'm going to say this before we go to the stop price. Let's do the limit price. The limit price is what I want to start selling it. Uh, so I'm going to set it at ten thousand um, dollars. That's the that's the price I want the limit order to be placed at. The uh, the amount is how many of my BTC I want to sell. But the stop price is the trigger to set this limit order. In other words, in other words, as uh, as price comes down, uh, what price do you want to be the trigger to to set a limit order for you? So, and this is a little tricky to understand. But so so if I say basically uh, ten thousand. 50. Let's just say I say that. So what that would be is that at 10,050, 
it's going to trigger the stop order. What it's going to do is try to try to place a limit order at ten thousand dollars, if it can. Now, if price is moving too fast uh, and it's already past that ten thousand dollars, it'll it'll uh, it'll uh, execute a market order immediately. But the the stop price is the trigger price. When do I trigger a limit order to be placed to sell? So um, that's the that's the way it, that's the way it works. Okay, um, dag on it. LTC is kind of uh, rejecting here off the 1276, and I'm, I was watching for that. And I, I actually put my uh, limit order a little bit above that because I thought it would wick through it. It didn't quite wick th through it, uh, or maybe it did. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> I'm making a video watching a trade. It's funny. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at. So the stop price triggers uh, your limit order to be set for a sell. Um, now you can also set buy stops. So basically, say you don't have any BTC, but price starts running up, uh, and you say, "Well, hey," when, uh, and I don't, I don't recommend this. I'm just telling you, you can do it. You can set a buy. You say, "Well, hey, if it passes this high, uh, I, I want to make sure that I sell a buy, or maybe, maybe it's up here. Maybe if price gets up here to eleven thousand two hundred dollars, you say, "Hey, I need to buy and get in that market." And so, if that's the case, what you do is you sell a buy stop. You're basically saying, when price hits let's just say uh, uh, $11,200, that's the trigger price. I want you to set a limit order, let's just say for 11,500. So the, or uh, shoot, we could, we could say 11,250, anything above that. Now, if you don't want to mess with that, you could just do the limit price at, at 11,200, the same as the stop price. But what's going to happen is it's going to set a market order. And you're going to pay extra fees. So if you could set the limit price a little higher than your stop or lower than your stop stop trigger, then uh, you'll pay only the limit uh, order amount. But keep in mind, price, it might not be worth the savings. It just depends on how much you're trading and how much of a uh, percentage it is. Okay, sorry, I'm a little stuffy. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, so the, the big key is you got to know where to set your stops. Uh, I have videos about that. You can search my channel for how to set stops, and there's some lessons in those videos. But basically, uh, I'll do a separate video on how to set a stop, but generally what you want to do is set your stops for uh, when you're buying uh, below the, uh, the last low. Uh, generally, that's a good place to do it. It's not always perfect, but uh, sometimes like this last low or this one there, this is where I would set the stop here. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, I got to run. Uh, that's a quick, uh, quick video on Coinbase Pro. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments if I need to be clear about anything I've done. All right. Until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.